Hello there, I'm AJ Puzzlefridge and welcome to Pocket Rogues! Now, as you can see from last time, I have been getting myself lots of gems. And I've just spent all of my cash because I've been upgrading my health to 27%. I don't know if that's actually going to give me much health at all, but you know, 27%. And we've been upgrading our um, Necromancer so that we can get up to maximum skill level 9 is the next one. So we can get up to eight. So I have got up to eight. I have all of the skeletons. I, I can still only summon three skeletons, which is a bit of a pity. Uh, but three skeletons of level eight. So definitely cool. I've leveled that up a little, a tiny little bit. And I've leveled up the, the pet a tiny little bit. Everything seems to be level eight at the moment. And I've, got, I've bought some equipment with the thing. I still need loads more... Um, Blueprint so that we can actually get some new awesome stuff, but at the moment we're just on that now I have actually been playing in The abandoned prison the one that I I died on so many times previously and I've got through to the boss But we're going to start at the abandoned prison because I want to really get some stuff before I go anywhere near the boss Okay, so first things first Summon as many skeletons as possible. Now this has been really cool for um, leveling up because a lot of these monsters drop you plenty of cash. And plenty of cash and gems is exactly what you want. Look at that. My minions, my minions cut through those enemies really quick. And, and the enemies have killed them all, haven't they? Okay, fair enough. Come on. Zombies. Is it zombies? No, it's skeletons, isn't it? Yes. Come on, skeletons! Nah. I shouldn't call them zombies. They might take offence to that. <laughs> bony. I shouldn't call them bony either. Okay, let's go into that chest. At the moment, we're not going to be getting anything particularly decent, but... You know, it's good to pick up virtually everything because everything has a cash value which you can then use my enemies to grab stuff in shop so yes pick up everything even if you don't want it apart from I, I can't usually be bothered to break those it takes you a while no I can't use it oh hello it wasn't bad though was it Sometimes they have these secondary effects. Uh, protect from humanoids increased by 20%. Okay, let's wear it. Seeing as we haven't got a hat on, and destroy all. They have increased the amount of storage space you have from 12 to 15, I believe. And of course, I've got a, a couple of extra points because I spent some points in it earlier to increase my, uh, increase my bag. Hi, mage. Ah, just look at it. I remember a time where I couldn't face any of these monsters because they would almost immediately kill me. Now, much better. And we have 19 health, don't we? Yes. Well, that's very good. 19 health is a vast improvement on 17 health. <laughs> Although I still fear that it's not enough. 11 enemies, where are they? I can run. I can. I rarely do. Running uses up mana, so... I don't know why running uses up mana. Maybe you forget that you have mana when you run. I don't know. Get in there, skeletons. Oh, no. You've let my... I have lost my main friend. Ah, I can't believe it. My golem's dead. That's really bad. Especially with, we've only just started. The golem is like, is usually tougher than your skeletons, but my skeletons just didn't even try. Did you? Hey? You had all that opportunity to do something, and what did you do? You stood there and looked as he did it. <laughs> your poor excuses for skeletons. <laughs> ah, what do they know? They're all bones anyway. Come on. Ah, that's something that I can just sell. Right, moving on. Next level. 
I think there's about four or five levels to the uh, to the abandoned prison before you get to the actual boss. Now, let's think. I could do we go through in my inventory because you pick up rubbish at a, a, a very quick rate indeed. Let's destroy those. And that can go. I save things that are really, you know, useful. Things that have a lot of money to them. But anything that doesn't have a lot of money to it goes immediately. Because otherwise it's just going to take up space. Vampirism. Each enemy killed by this weapon restores some health to the character. And it's better than my wand. So, my wand can go. And I'll keep that one. Much better. Cool. Okay. So now, everything we kill gives us life. That's very good. Still only on level 2 though. I really want to get to the boss. I've seen the boss several times, and uh, he has murdered me several times. And that was with the golem. I think I can take on the boss, though. I really do. I've been leveling up enough to, to, to feel like I stand a chance. Ah! Ooh, assassin. No chance. Level 8 assassin against three level 8 skeletons? Ah-ah. Uh -uh. <laughs> Right. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Ah, I'm looking forward to getting some more blueprints, but they're just... They just don't seem to want to drop. What I could really do with is the blueprints to a specific um, grimoire. Um, this particular grimoire that I've been, I've been seeing around, I've picked it up several times. Uh, this particular grimoire gives me the ability to make my skeletons blow up upon death. So when they get killed by the enemies, the enemies have a tendency to die at the same time. Plus, if you're using the, um, the skill that summons this one, if you use this skill, then skeletons just appear for a little while. And then they blow up on death, which is really, really cool. Go on. I want another skeleton. Thank you. <laughs> this has been very good for collecting... Uh-oh, ogre. Troll, even. Ooh, they did well. I was expecting that troll to wipe them out. Anyway, this levels has been very good for, uh, for getting me gems. Many a gem has been picked up since last time. So many. So many, in fact, that I feel relatively safe with my with my gems. I do believe that I shall be okay. Right. Now then. Where are the last four? Where are you hiding? Oh, hello. There's one. Got ya. I always like to clear a level. A cleared level... Did he just get himself killed? There's two enemies left because the other ones decided to get themselves murdered by the fire trap. Ooh, lots of cash. Don't mind me. Ouch. <laughs> okay, good. We can use that to get our life back. And then we're off. Right, I'll see you in the next place. Awesome. Abandoned prison level three. You can actually find bosses around. The the pumpkin head boss, he can be found occasionally in, in anywhere, basically. You never know. And it's good to kill these bosses because they give you lots of gems. Hi, troll. There's still a, there's still a couple of skeletons there. So, get defeated. Good. I'm dropping big coins. I do need a lot more um, money in this game because then I can level up a lot of stuff fast. You need the money. The money is so important. Oh, go away. Bows. I don't know how I'll be doing with the other classes. I've got to unlock... There's one more class that I need to unlock. I didn't realise that there was a, another class at all. I just totally forgot. But uh, yeah, there's another class for me to unlock. Which is another fighter, I believe. I don't know how well I'll do with that. 
This is not the grimoire I was after. Maybe this one will be. No. No, don't think it is. Let's see. Let's get rid of these. A lot of time spent clearing your inventory of stuff you don't need. Okay, let's have that on for now. And destroy that one. No good. I'll eat that. Because... Stick! I don't need a stick. Thank you. Destroy that. Ah, filling my inventory with rubbish. These? I don't know what to do with these. <laughs> I guess you could put them in there and then and then launch them at things. That's a good idea. I'll do that. Hey, you! Hi! Would you care to come through here, please? All of you. Yes. Uh-oh. They've killed all of my minions. You! I'm going to throw daggers at you. The daggers do more damage than my current weapon, but generally speaking, as soon as you picked up some better weapons, then you, the, the daggers are totally useless, so I don't, I don't generally pick them up. All sorts of stuff. Four enemies remaining. Where have they hidden themselves? Oh, down here. Okay. Fair enough. Immediately found. Uh-oh. 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 Run, run. I did not run fast enough. Still, I got seven skill points, a load of cash, which is enough cash to open up the next uh, the next character. And we cleared three floors. 20 creatures killed. 20 creatures! And some more gems. Good. I like the quests. They're very handy. Okay, so... Uh, what was I doing? I was opening a new class. Yes, don't do something else first. Halls of battle, screams and laughter can be heard from this great hall. You can see dozens of warriors when you enter it. Some are drinking, others singing or even fist fighting. They feast and fight in the name of the gods of war. But all of them thirst for a real fight. And of course, the monsters infested caves seem like a good place to look for it. The more you invest in the halls of battle, the more you can invest in the skills of the Berserker class. Okay, so let's level that. We can have a level 1 Berserker, and I should really try the level 1 Berserker. But we have 7 points to put into our Necromancer first. Did I level that? I don't think I did, did I? I don't think I can get more on that. But I can get more on this, which gives me a, an epically tiny amount of more damage. Or I could or I could level my um, golem, which is quite handy. So, yeah. I think I might level my golem. There. Bit more life, bit more damage. He should last a bit but lot longer now. Okay, so let's try the Berserker out. What can we give the Berserker? Can we give the Berserker anything? He's already got something, just naturally. Battle Axe, or... Yeah, I think I'll go for the Battle Axe. Okay. Give me, that's expensive. Everything's expensive. I, I wish that the um, when you bought a pet that it was accessible for all of the characters rather than just being accessible to individual characters according to what you're doing. It means that you're taking a lot more time getting getting your stuff ready, which is a bit mean. Okay, so I think I, I won't bother with a hat. He's got a axe skill. So each strike has a chance to slow the enemy down for a while. Awesome. What's this one? Whirlwind of death! The Berserker rotates, waving an axe and damaging nearby enemies while the button is clamped on mana ends. While the button is clamped or mana ends. Okay. Now this one. Rage! Berserker receives a bonus to defense against any attacks and damage dealt for a while. Plus a bonus to damage dealt for every hit received. Okay. Cool. Right, let's try him out. Let's try him out in the easy lands of easiness, because he is only level 1, for starters. It seemed unfair to... Uh... He's got a golem, of course. Because I bought him a golem. Because definitely golem, yes. Okay. Rats. 
Level four rats. <laughs> I think I can just about take on these. So I guess he must do more damage than the others. And have better defense, I don't know. Hmm. Well that's the normal hit worked out. Normal hit is pretty decent, although to be fair, most of the damage is going from the um from my golem, he's doing most of the work. We've got a lot more life as this character. 40 life is a huge improvement on 19. It's like double. Okay. He's still got more enemies to deal with. I drowned. Drowned and dead at this point. Cool. I wish I could have the skeletons as well. Hmm. Then I would be a fierce warrior with a backing group. Okay, now where where are the enemies? I've still only tried the first skill so far. Let's try the second. What does the second do? Oh, that's Berserk. That gives me several seconds of increased defenses, I believe. That's good. Okay. Let's get all of our life back. Hooray! And we can leave this place. Right, so the Berserk seems like something that I should have on all the time, actually. Let's take that. Sometimes you can get enemies appearing here, but they're not enemies. They're actually mercenaries so that you can buy them and you can uh, you can use them, but they're quite costly, like 2,000 or something. At least they were when I found them. Hmm. Loads of packing crates and such like. We still got extended life from the uh, from that pot. If I just sort of hide behind my minion. Apparently the poison's been increased in damage. Which is fairly reasonable considering the fact that the poison was absolutely rubbish and did hardly any damage whatsoever previously. So yes, I thoroughly agree with the increase in poison damage, but it also increases the poison damage for enemies as well. So, they're not going to just beat us. Now, where are the others? More enemies, please. Let's take rage to get, to get more damage resistance. I don't know how much that affects us, I really don't. It, as it doesn't give you a number for it, it's it's not it's not really easy to tell. <laughs> hmm. Die, monster! Thank you. I don't mind this class actually. I was expecting it to be so bad that I wouldn't be able to get anywhere, but uh, it seems to be going okay. I need to test out the last of the skills, the whirlwind skill, which should be potentially potentially the best. I mean, if you play the uh, if you play the barbarian in Diablo, you'll be familiar with a whirlwind skill, because the whirlwind skill in Diablo is awesome. And yes, it does appear to be pretty good. It does appear to be pretty good. Although I do I do think that I lost plenty of life there. Maybe I should rage before I uh, whirl, and maybe I should find some way of getting more mana. Okay, let's see. Could we have any other things? No, we can't have any other things. Is this sword better than... No, no, it isn't. So, I will keep my axe. Especially since I spent uh, gems on it. Here we go. Okay, rage and then whirl. And then I'm out of mana in seconds. <laughs> it only gets like 13 mana then. Alright. Have I got 13 mana overall for, for all of my whirlwinding needs? That means that this mana thing is going to be incredibly useful. Although not if I'm dead. Here, let's have a one of those. Why does that give me mana as well? Interesting. Mm, very interesting. Okay. So now we have 20 something seconds of mana regeneration. Let's go use it. Hey, enemies, I got mana regeneration, and my mana still runs out epically quickly. <laughs> I can't believe how quickly my mana runs out on this. 
There's got to be some way of reducing the uh, the the cost of that. Maybe that's what the the skill will will give us. Hmm. Potion for life. Ah oh, no, my friend's dead. Already dead. That's a pity. Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't get hit by that. All right. Great stuff. Tons of stuff. The treasury. Interesting. We've just broken straight into a place to just grab anything we want. Although, it looks a wee bit protected. Let's see if there are areas that aren't protected. Oh, wow. They are very protected. Not just a slight bit. They are tons protected. What's this? Is this just the thing? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Now then. I think I could run through there. Let's 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 just leg it. Oh wow. Loads of extra death. Okay. This seems very, very, very dangerous. Yes. Yes it is. It is very, very, very dangerous. In fact, it is almost instant death. Hmm. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Now I'm going to get my um, I'm going to get my necromancer to the boss because I wanted to fight the boss. So I'm going to get the necromancer to the boss. Now see you then. We can actually just go straight to the boss. I won't have the best gear. In fact, I'll have terrible gear. But let's see if we can take on the boss with with virtually nothing. The king of bones. Considering he's the king of bones, you would have thought that uh, my skeletons... Uh-oh. No. I cannot take on the boss. <laughs> Not straight out. I, I, mind you, I did get hit by several things straight in the face immediately. Let's try that again. Only with less, less immediate death. Hopefully. I did a poor job of that. Okay, let's stand here. Send skeletons at him. Just keep sending skeletons at him. Stand back. Cool. Okay, if I just stand here and send stuff at him. He's already killed a few of my skeletons. Come on, fight the skeletons. Fight them. Not me. Them. That's it. Stay back. Stay well over there, boss. Uh-oh. I need to get closer. If he's going to do that. Ooh, nearly, nearly, nearly. Yes! Wow, okay, so the next area is open and we have a ton of stuff. That's brilliant. How do I get to the next area then? Ah, chests. I've got to get these. What's in them? Possibly a new awesome wand? Maybe? No blueprints though. Ooh, hello. A swamp grimoire. Interesting. I wonder what which what one was that? It's one that we didn't have already, so that's really cool. Uh, don't destroy it. Put it on. Good. All right. Next level. I've not been here before. Where are we? Ooh, adamantite garden. Hmm. This is probably exceptionally dangerous, and I probably can't get far in it. But we'll have to explore it in the next episode, because I'm all out of time. In the meanwhile, you take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch other things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Catch you next time. Bye for now.